So we got this indefinite interval here, one over the square root of x plus one with respect to x. So we need a technique on how we're going to do this. Now trig substitution is probably not going to work with this square root term. So we're looking likely that it's going to be a u substitution. So we've got a few choices for what our u could be. We could put the whole term as a u, or we could just do the square root of x. For this video, I'm just going to let u equal square root of x. So we'll start with that. So u equals square root of x. Okay, now when we do u substitution, the next stage is always to take the derivative. So for square root of x, I like to write this x to the power of a half. Okay, so now let's take the derivative on both sides. So du, so using this term here, x to the power of half, remember the chain rule. So we multiply by the term in the indice there. So we've got one half, and then we drop the power by one. So we've got x to a half minus one. Then obviously we need to take the derivative of x, which is just one, which is not gonna change anything. So we leave the one out of it for now. So now we can just simplify this off. So that's dx. So now we've got du equals one half of x to the minus one half dx. And again, with a negative exponent, du equals one over two times square root of x. And we can put that in our denominator. Okay. Next thing to do, isolate our dx. So now we get dx equals du divided by one over two root x. So now we can simplify this off a little bit more. So now dx, so two root x can go on top. And then our denominator will now disappear. And then now du will stay next to it. Okay. So now we've got all our bits ready now to plug in our u substitution. So that's quite a lot of working out just to get ourselves ready. So now we'll reset up this integral, one over square root of x. Well, that is just u, so that's u plus one. And now we've got to plug in our dx. Now here, we could go straight into our u world here with our derivative of dx. I'll see here we've got 2 times the root of x, and the root of x is the same as u. So dx is the same as 2u du. So now we're going to plug that straight in there. So 2u du. Okay, let's just simplify this up a little bit more. So this 2 we can bring out front, and then we've got u on the top divided by u plus one and du. Okay, now there's many ways we can go about this part. The way I like to do is to add one. So obviously you're all shouting in the comments now, I've changed the value, but now I can subtract one. So now we can see what we've done here. We can now split this integrand apart. We've got the u plus one over u plus one, and then we've got minus one over u plus one. So now let's do that. So now we've got two times the integral of u plus one over u plus one. And then we could subtract this, break this integral apart again. So another integral, one over u plus one. And these are all du's. Okay, so we can simplify these off and go straight into integration straight after. So we've now got two times the integral of one du. So that's very straightforward. And this one here looks like a very straightforward integral that we all know as well. Okay, okay let's go straight in for the integration. So with respect to u, this is now two u minus, then this one we know is the natural logarithm of u plus one. So two times the natural logarithm, don't forget the absolute value, u plus one. Okay, we're not quite ready for the u 
for the plus C just yet, because we need to go back into our X world. So U is the square root of X. So now we've got two square root of X minus two times the natural log of square root of X plus one. And then we're ready to put in R plus C. Now, if you prefer, you could factor out the two as well, but this is still a fully legitimate answer. Okay.